I'll walk you through a process. I'm making these merchandisers. They're basil merchandisers. Uh, they go into uh, local uh, grocery stores, Whole Foods. We have shop rights here, Acme. Whole Foods, uh, these uh, particular racks are going to Whole Foods in uh, the D.C., Virginia, and Maryland, Baltimore area. Um, I'll show you a picture of uh, what the uh, racks look like with merchandise on the floor. But they're basically these peach crates. Right, and then I cut the fronts off, right, to make access, and then I'll sand them up a little bit, right, sand up all these rough edges. So what I do is mill up all my parts, right, all these are parts, there's leg parts in the other room too, and I have this table, so, uh, over the years, I've made, I don't know, 40, 50 of these things, these racks. So, I have this, this is an old door, right, this old hollow core door. I put a fence, and then a 90 degree fence to this, right? These are my racks, right? My All my measurements for one two-bay rack, right? Uh... My back legs, my front legs, my supports, my middles. It tells me everything I need to know to make one of these two bay racks. And then on the table, you'll see lines. And that is going to correspond to... There's one here. Can't see it, maybe. Right? There's one that goes across here. And that was for something else, this line back here. But anyway, all I do is basically lay them down on their lines. These are the back legs. Then I nail them on. I use uh, crown staples. Uh, this type of... Uh, fastener to fasten them all right this tells me my separation between them right and then take a square and then get them flush with the legs they just need to be flush with the legs here all right and then boom 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 start putting them together then let me take i'll take you uh So, you saw in time lapse how fast they go together. They take you know, maybe 15 minutes to put together. But I've done all of this work cutting all my legs to size, all my other parts. Uh, you saw me use these setup blocks, these setup blocks uh, basically tell me without doing measurements where each part needs to go. Um, this is for the leg supports, so that goes down at the bottom. You saw me do that, and then these little blocks get attached here, and then these supports go in here to keep the legs from moving in either direction, either front to back or right to left. It keeps the box, the whole rack, sturdy. 
it needs to be sturdy because these are going into retail stores and uh, some of the racks that I've done are probably eight years old seven years old and they're still in the stores and they're still you know surviving so you got to make them a pretty strong um, yeah this is it, it's just like all these little um, setup blocks really help you go through this in a somewhat timely manner so whenever you're doing something that's repetitive you're making 20 30 a hundred of something think of a better way to do each process and uh, so it doesn't take you as long to do it especially if this is what you're doing for a living um, time is everything if you can save some time uh, it's great and it's you know it, it helps your bottom line so that's it hope you find this uh, interesting uh, until the next time Till the next time, I'll see you somewhere in your shop, my shop, somewhere. Uh, be blessed, be well, be safe in your shop and on your job site and whatever you're doing. Uh, hey, if you haven't yet, hit the like button. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We can build a lot of things in this shop, but one thing we cannot build is this channel without you. Be well.